The List Builder app allows you to create, customize, and manage lists on your site. You can choose from a variety of list types, such as events, product catalogs, FAQs, and more. Add the List Builder to your site by clicking Add, List Builder. Click on the list templates to preview them and select a list to customize. Click Add to Site, followed by OK. If the List Settings tab does not appear, right-click on the list and select Manage Items to open List Settings. If you'd like, you can reorder your list items by clicking on an item and moving it up or down the list. Now, click Edit. Here you can add an item to your list, duplicate it, or delete it. Under Title, enter a custom title. Keep in mind that the title is a required field. Continue editing the fields and note that the fields may vary based on the list type. An existing or added field that displays the link icon such as this can be linked to any one of these options. You can add a new field by clicking on Add Field to All Items, select from any one of these options, enter a custom name, and choose the location of the field. Click here to change the default image or to create a link to your field. When you're done, click OK. Keep in mind that the field was added to all items in your list. To replace an image for a specific list item, scroll down, click Change Image, select your new image, and verify your selection by clicking Change Image. You can also rename your image here, which will help your SEO. Now, you can customize the design of your event photo field by clicking on the Design tab and clicking Edit next to Event Photo. You can rename a field or delete it. Keep in mind, Deleting a field will remove it from all items in your list. Edit the field's properties by changing the image style. Change the width and height of your image, and change the image spacing. You can edit another field by clicking on the Field drop-down menu and selecting any of the other fields in your list. Change the color of your title or any of the other title properties. When you're done, be sure to click OK. Notice that the changes made were applied to all list items. To add pagination, which will split your list across multiple pages, click here. Select the number of items that will appear on each page, and note that the list is now divided across two pages. To hide any of your fields, click on the Hide icon, and if you would like the item to reappear, simply click Show. Change the layout of your list fields by clicking on Edit Layout. Here, you can drag and drop any of your fields to a new location. Under the Options tab, you can create an item page by simply clicking on the toggle and selecting your links to a separate page. To learn more about working with item pages and multiple lists on your site, please visit the List Builder section in our Learning Center at Wix.com.